go! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Sofia and today we're filming my very first bookshelf tour! In 2020 I uploaded my first ever book haul and I'm uploading the bookshelf tour so I think I'm officially a booktuber, I don't know. I feel like those are the two type of videos that everyone watch and everyone loves. This is gonna be my bookshelf tour for 2020 even though it's uploaded in 2021. I really got into reading this past year and my collection has grown a lot since then so I really wanted to document it. It's basically why I'm doing these. I don't want to like show off how many books I have, everyone is different. Because before starting, I wanted to say all my bookshelves are from IKEA and my floating shelves were actually made by my dad. I know a lot of people are gonna ask this because I get asked a lot. We are searching for a way to sell them because they are super sturdy. I, I know you can buy floating bookshelves online but I don't want to recommend any place because I haven't tried them or they are not actually the ones I have but I know you can get them in other stores and in other websites. Let's go straight into Sofia from the past. These are my bookshelves. Ignore the mess. <laughs> bookshelves have like three parts, I say. We have the floated bookshelves, then the long bookshelf that I just got. My little shelves that I call them. I don't know, I'd separate them. I'm thinking of getting rid of the floating shelves because they are a pain. The books fall all the time and a lot of my books are damaged because of them. I would have to buy another like big shelves and get rid of these because they don't fit anywhere in my room anymore so I will probably leave it at that. Let's just go with it. One, we have The Lunar Chronicles by Marisa Mayer and Shadow and Bone by Leva Dugo. This is the shelf I organized the best, like it's my favorite floating shelf because of the color scheme. But we have the two Renegades books by Marisa Mayer, I'm missing the third one. Snow Like Ashes, The Grethen Dawn, the Red Queen series, which I'm missing two books, and then The Wicked Sense, Wicked Sense by Emily A. Duncan, which I have to read the rest of the series, and the last book is coming out this year. We do have a bookshelf in there, but I don't want to show those books. And this is what I call my miscellaneous bookshelf, which is books that I don't know where to put. One copy of Thermal Glass, Stars All the Way Down, Since You've Been Gone, the Heartstopper graphic novel series, which was one of my favorite reads of last year, The Little Mermaid, Illustrator, Harper, Design Edition, and then this random book that I just bought for the cover, Mr. Hancock and the Mermaid, I think it's called. Yeah. <laughs> miscellaneous bookshelf. Uh, this is what I call my Liverdugo shelf because it has mostly Liverdugo books even though Shadow and Bone is up in there. I don't know. I like how Nevernight looks with Liverdugo's books. We have the Nevernight series by Yaker Stuff and then Nith House which Mary gave it to me this year. Thank you so much Mary. And then Secrets of Crow series. This is the collector edition. These are the normals editions and then the Language of the Thorn down here. And these it's supposed to be my last floating shelf but because they are super heavy. The shelf is like right here. <laughs> you can see it. This is my Throne of Glass series. They have the nerdy ink dust jackets. They don't look like normal Throne of Glass books, but they are all Throne of Glass. These are super pretty and they are from Nerdy Ink. I will link them down below. And then for the rest of this shelf, I have Lily, my plant, which appears in a lot of my pictures on Instagram. Then I have some of my... Lainey Taylor's book, I have a huge collection, you will see it later, but these are the Spanish editions and the UK soft cover. this is the mass paperback, these are just some of them that couldn't fit on my shelves, and these bookends are the bookends that came in the Daughter of Smoking Boats Illumicrate box. This is my kalimba and that is a wooden plate that my sister got me for Christmas this year. My YouTube and my Instagram name and this was my banner for YouTube for such a long time. I might put it back. <laughs> This is my Victoria Shop bookshelf. I also collect editions of Victoria Shop, but not as hardcore. I just really love her books. I have a little Baymax too that my sister gave it to me. It's for the car. It's one of those that have like jiggle head. Beauty and the Beast glass rose that my mother and my sister got me from Disneyland. It's so precious to me. I have three editions of the A Darker Shade of Magic series by Victoria Shop. We have the normal hardbacks, then we have the collector's editions, and this is it's one of my most precious books and it's damaged. But it's the exclusive Banners and Novel editions of A Gathering Shadows. I bought this in New York City when I was visiting and that's why it's damaged because I had to put it on my luggage. Um, but it's still one of my most precious editions. 
And then on top of that, Invisible Life of Harry LaRue. This is the Waterstone exclusive edition. And then City of Ghosts by <laughs> Victoria Shop 2. Near Witch, another set of editions of A Darker Shade of Magic. These were my first books of hers. The Visible Life of Adela Rue, but this is the Forbidden Planet exclusive editions. Vengeful, Vicious, and the Disavishong duology. There, here. <laughs> Next to that one, I have what I call my big hardcover bookshelf and I just have a Starfall candle that I had for the longest time by Maraca Candles. Mainly in here I have the A Court of Thorns and Roses books, then the Anemory in the Ashes series, though I'm missing the last one. The Crow Prince, Harless by Marisa Mayer and The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern, which I... I still have to read, it's one of my New Year's resolution. And then here on top I have the Shadow Between Us, Revels of the Sand by Alwyn Hamilton and Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which these two I'm probably gonna unhaul at some point because they've been on my shelves for the longest time and I haven't yet read them. Then we move into my first Shadow Hunter shelf and the only thing I have on the shelf is little, I don't know his name in English. This is from Primark. Starting from here we have the Clockwork Angel, 10th anniversary edition, and then we have all the Mortal Instruments and the Fernal Devices in the Spanish editions. Which, fun fact, the first book and the second book in the hard covers in Spain, they switched the covers. So this is actually City of Bones and that's City of Ash, but the covers in English are chained. So that's the cover of City of Bones and that's the cover of City of Ash. I don't know what they did. I don't know if they are still like that or they changed it. And then at the bottom I have City of Heavenly Fire, which I just realized is upside down. Then Lady Midnight, and this is the Waterstone Special Edition, I think. Then Queen of Air and Darkness, the Shadowhunter Codex, and this one, which I never know how it's called. The one with all the flowers. All all illustrated history of notable shadow hunters, and then this is Down World. I know why I don't remember that one. And then we have the City of Bones 10th anniversary. Edition. I'm running out of breath with these things. <laughs> and we have my other Shadow Hunter shelf and my baby Yoda. It's warding my books. <laughs> these are the paperbacks, I think, editions with these kind of covers that are cut out. But I love these editions and I love the spines. So. And they are mismatched. <laughs> City of Bones goes here and Cogwar Prince goes here. So I have the Mortal Instruments and the Infernal Devices and I do have Lord of Shadows which the spine is different but I have it hidden behind because it doesn't fit in here and I don't think it looks good here. You back. <laughs> and this is my last big shelf and this is what I call my unhaul shelf because most of these books will probably go, I will probably sell them at some point or donate them. Basically because most of them are in Spanish, I don't read anymore in Spanish and I don't think I'm gonna ever read again some of these books. Or maybe I just want to get the English edition. This is the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armitrode. And we have Beautiful Creatures which I will always have. It's the first series that got me into reading and I will never get rid of those books but I do want to get them in English. Then I have a random Kingdom of Hush book. The Hush Hush series which I want to get in English. Illuminae, Spanish edition, City of Bones. City of Bones though. Paper Towns and A Fault in Our Stars by John Green. The Divergent series which I want to get rid of but don't because they are like you know. And then my Young Last series in paperback which I also have a hardcover set. And then my other bottom shelves have stuff for my Etsy store like paper storage and my bookmark and stuff so those I just have for storage and then here this little pile are books that I'm waiting to like sell them I don't need them anymore so on that shelf you can see a little bit the books that are in there but I don't want to show those books in here this is my small hardback shelf as I call it as you can tell I don't organize my books by genre or anything I just put them <laughs> randomly so I have the selection series um, in hardcover, I'm missing the last two books, but those two books don't exist, and I think all the selection fans will agree with me on that. Then we have Aurora Rising by J. Christophe and Amy Kaufman. And here are some of my favorite books of this year. Uh, Good Girl's Guide to Murder, Fable, The Bone Houses, Wicked Vox by Kat Cho. This might be my favorite book of the year. Eliza and Her Monsters was one of my favorite books of all time, so I wanted to show it. Please read it, it's amazing. Then we have a, a very large expanse of sea and the Young Lights in hardcover, which also one of my favorites. Please read it, we need to read them. We are starting with my Lainey Taylor collection, which at the moment I have two small shelves. 
but I have a lot of books. So I just have an IKEA candle and this little replica that came in the Daughter of Smoke and Bones Illumi Crate Special Edition box. The normal US hardcovers have the first three books. And then the UK first edition hardcovers. So these are out of prints and you can only get them um, secondhand. So I have the three of them. I'm gonna show them. These are Blood and Starlight. And there is some Gods and Monsters. These are my favorite covers out of all of them. The Lumicrate special edition that are Smog and Bones book. This one's so pretty underneath it. Look at it. I just love it. And then I have another thing from the unboxing which is this book tin with art on the two sides and in here I just have all my annotation supplies so that's my first shelf this is my second Lainey Taylor shelf which I have my Strange to Dreamer copies this um, Strange to Dreamer mug that came in the Illumicrate box and this is by Rosie Thorns the normal hardcover of Strange to Dreamer which these are also super hard to get now behind it I have this little book of poems from my grandma, the Dada of Smoke and Bones, Spanish edition, and two more, Strange to Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares in this international paperback edition. Two editions of Muse of Nightmares, one of them is the first editions that had the red pages and then this one is the normal edition. This is the Australian Strange to Dreamer paperback, the normal UK paperback, I think, the German edition of Strange the Dreamer. And this is what I call my paperback shelf and my to-be-read shelf, because a lot of these I haven't yet read. So in here, that don't fit, I have From Blood on Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. We have The Puppy Wars by Arif Khan, a series that I really want to read this year. Whoa, a lot of books in here. Girls Made of Snow and Glass, Anna K, which I also really want to read. A lot of people's favorite and one of my favorite covers, I think, Daisy Jones and The Six. I still have to read this one. One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus. Just know, maybe so. We have Normal People by Sally Rooney. With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is on top of my TBR for this year. We Were Liars by Erin Lockhart. Sorcery of Thorns. The Song of Achilles. Love this book. Sapiens, which I'm reading little by little because it's a huge book, but I love history. This is actually from my friend. She lent it to me to read it. Then we have The Secret History, If We Were Liars, House of Souls and Sorrow, which was another one of my favorites. And and the last book in this tour is gonna be The Kingdom of Back by Mary Lou. Look at this gorgeous cover. And that was it for my bookshelf tour. How was it? Was it that bad? No? Did you like it? I hope so. <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> I wanted to wish you all a happy new year. I hope it started the best it could, that you celebrated Christmas and New Year's the best you could. We did it the best we could and next year probably the Christmas time would be better. That's gonna be all for today. If you like it, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, all those lovely things that you can do that really help my channel grow. If you wanna keep updated with my reads, I do have a good reads. I will link it down below. We can be friends. I post reviews here and there. And I also have a bookstagram if you wanna do keep updated with all of my reads. I post there daily. Also, check out the Etsy store. So many things to check out. I'm so sorry. I love you guys and I'll see you next one. Bye!